Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Following up on my Canon SL2 unboxing video, we had the kit that came with the 18 to 55, the 55 to 250, and the Canon camera bag, and I believe a 32 megapixel SD card uh, for $7.99. This is uh, on review from B&H. I also ordered, for those of you that are familiar with the channel, you'll know that these are another two of my favorite, my top three best value Canon lenses. Actually, I've got my top four, um, which is includes the 18 to 135, but this kit came with an 18 to 55, which is an option. It's smaller, lighter, just doesn't have the range. But we've got the 10 to 18, so the Canon EFS 10 to 18 IS STM. That's it right here. And the EF 50 mil F18 STM. Both of these lenses I love, especially this 50. If you're a regular viewer, you know I love 50s, and you know I'm a big fan of this F18 STM because for the price, it's extremely hard to beat. They're about $125. I'll put a link below. You can check them out. But they're, I mean, what rounds out my favorite lenses is the 55 to 250, my favorite best value lenses from Canon, my top four. The 55 to 250, which is on the SL2 here, the 10 to 18, the 50 mil F18 STM, and then I would go for the 18 to 135 IS STM, which is available as a kit lens with the 80D and the 77D and some other bodies. I'm not sure if it is with the SL2. The option being the 18 to 55 IS STM, good little performing lens. I just like the extended reach of the 18 to 135. So we've got three out of four of my top four lenses right here right now. So let's get the 10 to 18 out of the box. As you know, I have reviewed this lens before um, and I've had it in with the 80D, I think, and the 7070D. Love this lens. Got a little um, warranty card and a little manual there. Got some uh, oh, some pretty uh, large bubble, bubble wrap. So nicely packaged in here. And then in a little, little baggie. There's the 10 to 18. Put the bubble wrap back in there. Got to save that so when it goes back to B&H, it's in good shape. There it is there. Small and light little lens. There's the rear caps, the front caps. Doesn't come with a, um, a hood, which would have been nice, but still for the price, this is an extremely hard to beat lens. You can see that from 10 to 18, it barely extends in the sense of it's not uh, a long extending lens when it zooms out. Uh, but this lens is a phenomenal lens. Uh, you'll see Casey Neistat and a lot of other bloggers using this on any of the Canon APS-C bodies because it allows you to go super wide. 10 to 18 is crazy wide. Um, so let's get this um, 55 to 250 off. And we will pop on the 10 to 18. You can see it's very small for, for um, the length-wise. It's about the same size virtually the same size altogether as the um, 18 to 55 kit lens. So a very small and lightweight lens, um, but a very good performing lens. And where else are you going to get 10 mils this wide? This is an ultra wide for this kind of price. And it's a Canon lens. It's an STM lens. Uh, it's an, it's IS. This is IS. Yeah, IS STM. So great little lens. Um, and it really goes wide. Uh, so if you're, if you're wanting to do... Um, you know, vlogging or selfies. Uh, now, you got to be careful on an ultra wide. You want to make sure you put yourself as close to the center of the frame so you don't get too much distortion. But, you know, you've seen that on a lot of vloggers, a lot of Casey Nice that I've done that if you go back and look at the videos with that. And it works great for that. It's a great lens. Love this lens. It's why it's in my top four best value lenses from Canon. So, that is the next lens. And then we've got um, my. One of my all-time favorites. I have a soft spot for this little guy. The 50 F18 STM. So let's get all the packaging out of here. Bubble wrap. This guy is small. Very small. Which is great. Small, lightweight. 50s are relatively easy to make as far as um, the optics and as far as cost of manufacturing. So that's why Canon, if you're wondering or Nikon, or any of them, why you'll find that the 50 mils are such a great performing lens for so little money. Because 
optically, the engineering on them is not very hard. It's a standard lens. I mean, they used to, this used to be a normal lens. It used to come with all of your 35 millimeter film bodies. Not this particular one, but a version of a 50. So that's it right there. Very small, as you can see. Actually, the build quality on this is even better. I wonder if they've if they've uh, improved this since it's the the build quality seems uh, even nicer than the last time I played with this. Maybe that's just my memory playing games. Uh, but let's take off the ten to eighteen and pop fifty on. You can see how small the fifty is on there. That is a small um, lens on here. Small and light. 50 mil, f1.8, so you got great light gathering ability. Also, uh, beautiful portrait lens. This is equivalent on the SL2 on a Canon APS-C body as 1.6 crop factor. So it's around an 80 mil field of view, which is very close to our traditional 85 millimeter field of view on an 85 millimeter portrait lens, which is why I love 50s on crop sensors. So uh, small and light. STM lens, so very good for video. It's quiet. It's got that STM motor um, and ability to isolate our subjects. Because of the F1.8, we've got a we can get a, a quite shallow depth of field for an incredible price, about $125. Again, I'll put links below. You could check them out. But we've got some great lenses here now. Four lenses with the SL2, the 55 to 250 for telephoto. We've got the 18 to 55 for our standard zoom. We've got a 50 f1.8, which is a great low light and great portrait lens. And we've got the 10 to 18, which is a super great value ultra wide, uh, as well as a good vlogging and selfie lens. Again, with the caveat that we are using an ultra wide, so be very careful about where you're placing yourself so you don't get distortion, facial distortion, and things like that. There you go, folks. That is the two other lenses that we had, 10 to 18 and the 50 f1.8 going to be reviewing it with the SL2 this time. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you have any user feedback, mini review for yourself, if you own these lenses, you want to comment on it, always great to hear from you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.